Teachers continue to protest a return to in-person classes across the Bay Area, but there are some teachers and specialists who understand the need for some kids to come back, but they are struggling right now with how to do that safely. And Brightside's Twilon Wynn spoke to two teachers that work with special needs students about how they're handling those changes. Twilon, good morning. Rob, good morning. This is tough for any parent to make this decision, but it's especially tough for these two teachers that I spoke to because they work with students who have special needs and they also have children at home that are immunocompromised. So they have really big decisions to make when it comes to protecting their students that may be more vulnerable to the coronavirus and their own families. A speech language pathologist within the Pinellas County School District sent me some of the CDC safety guidelines and why they're almost impossible to follow during therapy sessions. For example, the CDC says to, quote, clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces. The use of shared objects should be limited or clean between use. She says she only has a limited set of materials that are usually shared in group sessions, and she doesn't have enough materials or sessions to spread out between her large caseload. Some students on the spectrum also have trouble with sensory textures, so wearing a mask is a no-go. For the two moms I spoke to, the risk of spreading COVID-19 to more vulnerable students and then to their own immunocompromised children is a scary possibility. And both moms are actually keeping their school-age children home this year to protect their health. That middle school ESE teacher I spoke to, she requested a virtual work assignment, and if she doesn't get one, her husband is going to have to switch his schedule at work to make sure he can be home to take care of the kids. And that speech language pathologist I spoke to, she also requested a virtual work option. If she doesn't get one, she's going to have to take a leave of absence because her son has a respiratory illness. Mm. All right, Twilon, thank you for that. A lot of families being forced to make changes. 50